New leaks suggest a pivotal moment for Tesla's $25,000 Model 2 regarding its battery choice. There are two distinct options being considered, aluminum ion and sodium ion. Both represent highly advanced technologies in modern battery making, and each could profoundly influence how this car charges, performs, and lasts over its lifetime. This choice could significantly impact your daily driving experience, whether you're making short runs across the city or taking long trips on the highway. In this video, we're going to separate the real information from the speculation. We'll examine practical charging times rather than just laboratory figures. We'll connect the battery pack size to the cost per kilowatt hour to show you how Tesla can realistically maintain that showroom price. We will also investigate how each battery chemistry handles heat, cold, and repeated fast charging. Furthermore, we'll discuss the end-of-life process, the potential for a second life in energy storage, and what all of this means for your long-term expenses. By the end of this discussion, you'll know which battery technology aligns best with your driving habits and Tesla's projected 2026 build plan. You are tuned into AutoFusion. If you find this content valuable, please hit subscribe to help us reach our goal of 8,244 subscribers today. And turn on the notification bell to join the insiders who follow every move Tesla makes before anyone else. So, what exactly makes aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries the top choices for the 2026 Tesla Model 2? Tesla is reportedly experimenting with two dramatically different battery technologies for its forthcoming $25,000 Model 2. An initial leaked data provides us with a clear look at their potential performance. The aluminum ion battery, a cutting edge development by Tesla's engineers, promises extremely fast charging. It could potentially recharge 80% of its capacity in as little as 10 minutes, which is a huge leap past the quickest lithium ion packs available now, which usually need 30 to 40 minutes. Early laboratory estimates suggest a single all-ion pack might deliver up to 1,000 miles of range on a single charge, which is about 1.5 times the distance offered by the current standard Tesla Model 3 long-range battery. Its expected lifespan is remarkable, with internal leaks indicating a usable life of 27 years or over 10,000 full charge cycles, a level of durability that no mass-market electric vehicle has achieved yet. Safety is another major benefit. Crash test simulations suggest that if all ion cells are punctured, they rarely surpass 120 C and do not experience thermal runaway, which drastically lowers the risk of fire compared to traditional lithium packs that can reach 500 C to 600 C in similar situations. The disadvantages are evident. Aluminum ion has a lower volumetric energy density than lithium, meaning it needs a somewhat larger battery pack to achieve a similar range. And manufacturing costs are currently high, due to the use of specialized aluminum-titanium alloys and high-precision assembly. In parallel, Tesla is also exploring sodium-ion batteries, positioning them as a budget-friendly option for mass production. Sodium-ion packs use abundant, low-cost sodium, allowing them to be produced at a fraction of the cost of lithium or aluminum-ion cells. Their energy density is moderate, falling roughly between 160 to 180 week compared to 250 to 270 dwee 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 for typical lithium ion and an estimated 220 dwee 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 for all ion. This makes them perfectly suitable for everyday city driving or regular regional commutes, but perhaps less ideal for very long journeys that require minimal charging stops. The charging speed is slower. Current lab reports from GMG of Australia and BTRL4 suggest a full charge could take 60 to 90 minutes under standard DC fast charging conditions. Lifetime projections show approximately 3,000 to 5,000 full cycles before significant capacity loss, which is far behind aluminum ion, but comparable to what you'd find in entry-level lithium ion packs. While sodium ion can't match all ion in terms of longevity or rapid charging capability, its low manufacturing cost and ready availability of materials make it a very attractive option for Tesla if their main objective is to produce millions of model. Two units while holding the line at that. $25,000 price point. So, which battery would you personally choose for your Tesla Model 2? Type 1 in the comments if you would pick aluminum ion. Type 2 if you would go with sodium ion. Or are you considering another alternative entirely? Share your reasoning in the comments below. Do you value speed, range, and long-term durability more? Or are affordability and day-to-day -day convenience your priorities? Let's look at a direct comparison between aluminum ion and sodium ion for the 2026 Tesla Model 2, going beyond the basic specifications. Aluminum ion batteries excel in their long-term performance under continuous heavy load. Internal Tesla leaks indicate 
that even after extensive highway driving at 120 km h over distances exceeding 400,000 km, all ion packs still maintain over 85% of their initial discharge efficiency, showing impressive consistency even in challenging conditions. Sodium ion packs, on the other hand, start to show a gradual decrease in capacity when operated continuously at high temperatures. Especially during hot summers or long periods of high-speed use, although their performance remains perfectly adequate for typical daily commuting. In practical application, aluminum ion is engineered for drivers who will depend on their Model 2 for frequent long-distance trips or multi-day, journeys where ultra-fast charging and reliable long-term output can greatly reduce time spent waiting. Sodium ion, with its simpler needs for thermal management and its lower cost, is better suited for city driving, shorter routes, and frequent stop-and-go driving where quick recharging is not the most critical factor. The actual driving experience further highlights these differences. Vehicles equipped with aluminum ion will maintain a steady power delivery at near maximum output, even when the energy reserves drop below 20%, ensuring predictable acceleration on motorways and steep hills. Sodium ion vehicles might experience a small reduction in peak performance as the battery discharges, potentially limiting acceleration by an estimated 10% to 15%, but their affordability and accessibility make them appealing, allowing more buyers to enter the electric vehicle market. From a maintenance standpoint, aluminum ion packs require less service because of their structural resilience, allowing Tesla to increase the time between software updates and checks on the thermal system. Sodium ion packs, while easier to replace and scale up for mass production, will likely require a mid-term battery replacement after approximately 3,000 to 5,000 full cycles, which creates a modest, ongoing maintenance expense for owners. But can either of these battery chemistries actually enable the Tesla Model 2? 2. To sell for 25,000 power dealers. Exciting specifications grab attention, but the factory output is what determines what cars get shipped. If the final price tag is $25,000, the battery cost must leave enough room for the body, the power system, the electronics, the software, logistics, and a healthy profit margin. A simple way to look at this is to set a battery pack cost range that keeps the total cost of goods in check. For a compact Tesla at this price, the battery pack generally needs to be in the $2,500 to $3,500 range to make the business plan work. With this in mind, let's break down the relationship between pack size and the dollars per kilowatt hour. If the Model 2 is targeting a 42 to 48 kil kilowatt hour pack, the math is straightforward. At $60 per kilowatt, a 42 in Q2 Tutti outer twi twi tiradars pack costs about $2,520 and a 48 tiradars pointitsi twi twi tiradars pack costs about $2,880. At 75 VB Friday, tithi dars dollars per coin, those costs rise to roughly $3,100, $150, and $3,600. At $100 per kilo, you jump up to about $4,200 and $4,800. The conclusion is clear. To keep the price at $25,000 without cutting features elsewhere, Tesla needs pack level costs closer to $60 to $75 per collider for a pack around 45 kilos. This brings us back to the chemistry choice. Sodium ion is the practical choice if the goal is high production volume in 2026. Sodium is plentiful. Its cathodes do not require nickel or cobalt. And the battery pack design is familiar. Utilizing prismatic formats, and standard thermal management systems. Crucially, a scaled-up sodium ion production line has a realistic path to reach the $60 to $80 per kilowatt range, which fits within the necessary cost window we've established. An energy density of $160 to $180 woke is functional for a compact car primarily used in the city, and the charging curves can be adjusted for longevity while still providing acceptable stops during road trips. On the other hand, Aluminum ion is the performance story that still needs to overcome manufacturing difficulties. New current collectors, different electrolytes, and extremely tight tolerances introduce new tools, fresh quality control steps, and a learning period that takes time to stabilize. Initial production yields and waste can keep the effective pack costs high. If aluminum ion enters automotive production at more than about 100 per kilowatt swat in the first phase, a 45 kilowatt pack would cost close to $4,500. That cost only works if Tesla can find savings in other parts of the car or if they position aluminum ion as a higher trim, level with a corresponding price increase. Viewed through this economic lens, the cost targets necessary for a $25,000 Model 2 strongly favors sodium ion 
for the initial production of millions of cars. Aluminum ion can still be introduced later as a high-end option or in a future update. Once production yields, warranties, and supplier expertise have matured enough to bring the effective pack cost down into that same $60 to $75 per kilowatt hours range. Simply put, sodium ion secures the necessary price point and production timeline, while aluminum ion reserves the potential for a performance upgrade once manufacturing certainty is established. What value is left in the battery after 200,000 miles? Range and charge time are what influence the initial purchase, but the end of life determines the long-term story. Here, the two chemistries differ in ways that are important to regulators, fleet operators, and anyone concerned with total cost of ownership. Aluminum ion starts with an advantage in recycling. Recovered aluminum generally saves about 95% of the energy needed to produce new, or primary, aluminum. This means lower carbon emissions for the battery pack hardware, which already utilizes a large amount of aluminum in its enclosures, bus bars, and current collectors. It also results in a stronger scrap value at the end of the battery's life, which supports the financial viability of take-back programs. Sodium ion scores points at the beginning of its life cycle. The materials list excludes lithium, nickel, and cobalt, which reduces exposure to volatile market pricing and simplifies compliance with mineral sourcing regulations. On the other hand, sodium ion recycling is a newer process, but the chemistry's lower inherent metal value can actually reduce the risk of theft and simplify the logistics of collecting used batteries. As the price of battery packs drops towards $80 per kilowatt, the business case for a second life application becomes stronger. A retired 50 kilobit Erdwind pack that still has 70% to 80% of its original capacity remaining becomes a useful component for stationary energy storage, where space is not limited and energy density is less critical than price and cycle stability. This is where applications for the electrical grid come into focus. Used EV battery packs can be used for peak shaving at charging depots, to buffer fast chargers at highway locations, or to stabilize microgrids at commercial facilities. Sodium ion is a great fit here because its moderate energy density is not a disadvantage when placed inside a large container, and the chemistry's ability to handle a wider range of temperatures can simplify the overall system design. Aluminum-heavy designs contribute simultaneously through a closed-loop materials cycle. Every kilogram of aluminum that returns to the smelter reduces the energy and carbon cost of future battery hardware and lowers the overall environmental impact of the original car. For owners, the practical result is the total cost over 12 to 15 years. The likely lower initial price of a sodium ion pack reduces anxiety about replacement for taxi companies, ride-hailing services, and busy urban fleets. Aluminum-rich packs may retain a higher scrap value and offer a clearer story of circularity at the end of their service life. Combined with decreasing pack costs and better reverse logistics, the 2026 Model 2 could be the first 25,000 EV where the end-of-life plan is just as compelling as the initial specification sheet. This completes the cycle and transforms a simple purchase decision into a full life cycle win. That concludes our in-depth examination of the Model 2 Greater Beats and Aluminum ion and sodium ion both appear promising. And the real story will be how Tesla manages to balance price, performance, and scale in 2026. Before you go, please tell us how you typically drive. Is it daily city commuting, weekend highway trips, or commercial fleet duty? Share your typical mileage, your charging habits, and the range you need in the comments below. And we'll use your real-world scenarios in a future analysis with new simulations and cost calculations. Thank you for spending your time with AutoFusion. This brings us back to the chemistry choice. Sodium ion is the practical choice if the goal is high production volume in 2026. Sodium is plentiful. Its cathodes do not require nickel or cobalt. And the battery pack design is familiar, utilizing prismatic formats and standard thermal management systems. Crucially, a scaled-up sodium ion production line has a realistic path to reach the $60 to $80 per kilowatt range, which fits within the necessary cost window we've established. An energy density of 160 to 180 dollar woke is functional for a compact car primarily used in the city, and the charging curves can be adjusted for longevity while still providing acceptable stops during road trips. On the other hand, aluminum ion is the performance story that still needs to overcome manufacturing difficulties. New current collectors, different electrolytes, and extremely tight tolerances introduce new tools, fresh quality control steps, and a learning period that takes time to stabilize. Initial production yields and waste can keep the effective pack costs high. If aluminum ion enters automotive production, 
at more than about 100 per kilowatt watt in the first phase. A 45 kilowatt pack would cost close to $4,500. That cost only works if Tesla can find savings in other parts of the car.